Hello YouTube friends, Sean here from visibledark.ca. Welcome to this video. Uh, I've been continuing my adventures with the Nina Astrophotography uh, program um, for acquisition, data acquisition. And uh, it's been going really well. Um, I'm actually quite fascinated by this program for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. I've used SGP for years um, and I just recently started using Nina. I thought I'd uh, give it a try and uh, been pleasantly surprised with it. The developer is really working hard. Um, they're updating it regularly, almost nightly. Uh, there's a, a, an update for it and I've been uh, following along with those updates. So um, it's actually a very robust program and it's uh, completely free as well. So uh, you can download it, install it and start using it. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, I was having some difficulties and uh, I know that viewers reached out and left me some comments about and giving me some tips and stuff and I tried those and, and a lot of them worked uh, great. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time to input and uh, give me those tips, appreciate that. Um, I was also uh, having trouble with the autofocus. Um, I was getting, I wasn't getting a V-curve, I was getting more of like a stairway going down and uh, the, the, the focus was still okay but I was puzzled by why I wasn't getting a V-curve. So I had a viewer that actually left me a little tip and I uh, looked into it and made the change in the settings for Nina and um, it actually helped. I got a V-curve uh, with my autofocus. Uh, so that was fantastic and I was kind of thrilled with that. I thought I'd show you uh, where that change is and what it is and uh, hopefully this helps someone else if they're using Nina and uh, having difficulty with the autofocus uh, like I was. So let's go over to the computer and we'll have a quick look. Okay, this is uh, Nina operating and doing the autofocus. Um, I recorded this and uh, it is producing a V-curve slowly. Um, these are the trend lines right here, uh, which would intersect down here, uh, which is approximately where uh, proper focus uh, should be according to the uh, graph so far. But as you can see, I'm starting to get that V curve occur and that was different from what I was getting previous so I'm quite happy that uh, I'm able to get this to uh, produce a V curve at this point and um, I had uh, simply made a change like I said according to um, a viewer that uh, left me a tip and uh, I uh, tried it and it worked so what did I do well I made a change right here with the autofocus number of frames per point. Um, so basically instead of taking a single exposure um, for per, per point of autofocus, um, the uh, Nina is now taking uh, two exposures per point and that will then be averaged out for the, uh, the HFR and uh, increasing that to two in the autofocus number of frames per point, increasing it to two, fixed the problem I was having with the autofocus and now produced a V-curve for me. And this is the autofocus after it's completed. Uh, the stars are focused and as you can see I've got very nice uh, sharp focus uh, thanks to Nina's uh, autofocus routine. It uh, has worked out really well. I've been really impressed with it. It's fabulous. Um, if you haven't tried Nina yet, give it a try, but uh, if you're having any difficulties with the autofocus, try uh, increasing the, uh, the exposures per uh, point, and um, that may uh, indeed help you. Okay, so thanks very much for watching, everyone. Appreciate it a lot. If you enjoyed this video or any other videos I have and would like to subscribe, please feel free to do so. I will see you in the next video, and clear skies to everyone. Take care.